If you're like me, you love your Tesla. The only problem is, you also love music. And right now, Spotify and Tesla don't play nicely together, at least in the US. Now, some web developers took it upon themselves to create light versions of Spotify, where you have to pre-make all of your playlists prior to actually going out into the car and launching your web version of Spotify. However, this just wasn't enough for me. I really wanted to search and have full control, just like I do on my laptop, of all my Spotify content, as well as searching for new music. Well, I'm happy to say there is finally a solution. If you go to tslaspot.com, I walk you through, end to end, how to set up Spotify on your Tesla. I'll go through how to set up your remote server for hosting, configuring that server, installing apps, and just so you know, you're not limited to just installing Spotify. This is also going to cover Netflix, Dropbox, Microsoft Teams, Slack, Outlook, you name it. It's all gonna be right there accessible to you at any time. We'll talk about configuration for your Tesla to make sure it's all Tesla friendly. And finally, we'll dive into the driver's seat and actually show you how to connect and get your Tesla up and running using all these apps. So now for a quick demo. This is what Spotify looks like on the Tesla. Okay, so now I'm going to open up our browser, log into the Tesla remote machine. Gonna hide the Tesla keyboard. And as you can see, I'm currently playing music on Spotify and it's playing through my phone and I'm able to control all the inputs directly from this screen. So I'm gonna click into my songs and now change a song that's currently playing. So I'll slide through this list and I'll just try this one right here. It takes a couple of seconds initially to understand that we're now controlling via this device. And you can see almost instantly now when we click on songs, they pop right up and become available to our Tesla. You can also search. So let's say I want to search for a song. I'll just click on that top field to search, bring up my keyboard, and just start typing out artist names or songs. Once you find the artist you're looking for, click on the top result. And now you're looking at the exact page you'd see in Spotify. We can close out the keyboard. And now I'm switching to a brand new artist, looking at their artist page, and clicking through their catalog. It's that easy. And as you can see, if we pull up other menu items, the browser usually stays connected. However, if it's fully minimized, the connection often does get lost. I can quickly reconnect by just popping up the remote desktop webpage, which I highly recommend that you do bookmark. And we're back within seconds. And you can control it just like you would with Spotify over your phone. You can click forward and back through songs. And if you ever get disconnected and you wanna jump back in, bring up that page and you're back in Spotify. A full blown version. I'm not talking about some sort of web app where you can't search and the functionality is limited. You can absolutely do everything that you can imagine doing with your normal traditional Spotify, but now you can do it on your Tesla. So if you'd like to get started with installing Spotify on your Tesla, just go on over to teslaspot.com. That's T-S-L-A spot.com. And I provided free tutorials end to end and also videos that will walk you through this whole process, which shouldn't take more than 30 minutes from start to finish. And I've outlined all the links in the description below for your quick reference. Enjoy having Spotify and your Tesla.